This episode of MMA Nuts is brought to you by Mattress Firm. Mattress buying made easy with lowest prices and comfort guarantee. Save 10% off with code MMA Nuts 10. All 33.com meet your new work chair. Get active, be active, and sit in motion all day, relieving your stress and aggravation. Use code CHAIR20 for $100 off your order. Bulletproof Coffee. Certified clean coffee. Save 15% off with code INGO15. Liquid Web, our premier hosting provider. Save 55% off hosting for three months with code FIGHT55. Defense Soap, the world's best soap for wrestlers, jiu-jitsu, and MMA athletes. Use code MMA Nuts for 15% off. Hey fans, this is MMA Nuts, episode 492. 492. My name is Ingo Michael. <laughs> Matt Griffith, that's my show. All right, fans, four of fans walk the line between serious and ridiculous. Oh, you trying to fucking <laughs> roll up your window on me? You <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Nothing works anymore. I son can never time it. I give up. It's not, I don't even try. You got, you got your radio? Does that work when I do it, too? You're goddamn right it does. <laughs> your radio voice. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I just got to find the right balance of sitting back here or sitting right here. Yes. Somewhere in the middle. But anyway. I have my microphone about uh, a hand's length away from my face at the moment, so you can't really see it. That's a good choice. I'm about mm -hmm. the same now. We'll see. It's right there. Yes, or sir. that's a BBC. I'm not quite sure. I could be choking on <laughs> that's Lord. how you gain sponsors and go <laughs> oh man would you put that in the beginning of the show oh it's perfect it's better if you do that in the middle because i chances. might i might actually beep that one out <laughs> seeing how it's oh, becoming an issue man. of late i'm, I'm trying to sell it. ads matt and this is not helping <laughs> it never does does it <laughs> no <laughs> unless unless you know we're advertising for some kind of like bbc type appendage for some kind of sex shop yeah i should go well, after that it's that good. was uh who the fuck did we do something with adam and eve right yeah yeah is that still a thing mm -hmm. oh. they're still around yeah but if you if you need toys you can buy them from amazon we should just stop going down this route because <laughs> we're just digging a deeper and deeper hole <laughs> anyway let's talk about uh video games quickly <laughs> okay. so okay Apparently, there was a PlayStation 5 launch uh, in the past week, right? A couple, a couple of days ago. Impossible to get. I tried. Couldn't do it. And then, the, what this morning, uh, Xbox launch. You were successful yes. in acquiring said Xbox? I was successful, but it took a lot of fuckery and luck. I, I, so, Target, Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, GameStop and microsoft itself microsoft itself yeah. so i had i had luck on amazon by random chance and and uh um what was the other one? Oh, walmart right yeah but there was varying degrees of like they let me put it in the car and then i get to go to checkout and like it would put me all the way back to this oops this page is not loading or it, it would let me hit buy and then it would think and go wait forever and be like oh Sorry, back to the product page. You know, so it's like, <laughs> yeah. And Best Buy was like two disappears. Right? Yeah, Best Buy was two hours behind everybody. They they mm -hmm. it said coming soon on their website, and their presale didn't start at ten, Eastern or Central. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. Yeah, what a clusterfuck. I'm just wondering, were people able to use bots into this buying process? Because it sure seemed like, you know, I want to say I had an order within the first minute and shit was sold out within a minute yeah on all the sites i had fucking three computers going i got zero xboxes well i think i think it might be that it could also just be the the sheer demand of something like this so you got like everybody at yeah. work and everyone's working from home now so they're like mm, like refresh the button refresh yeah. the button um, actually, GameStop put me in a queue and said, don't refresh because you'll be last in line. And then the queue happened and then nothing happened. It just put me back to the product page. Like it didn't even let me buy anything. Yeah, that's so. weird. They, I actually got my order through at GameStop. I got a confirmation email that said, hey, we got your order. We're processing it. And then five minutes later, I got my cancellation email saying, oh, too bad. It's either out of stock or your fucking payment failed. Like, yes. Well, my payment did not fail. I am very good. Your payment is solid? Yes. My money is no good here, apparently. <laughs> but fucking just, eh. That's the worst one when they tell you you got it and then you don't. But yeah. even when you have the pre-order, sometimes you don't even have it. You know, Until you physically own that fucking machine that's in your hands, 
Yes. You don't got shit. I feel like there'll be other opportunities. And really, we were talking about the before the show started. Yeah. I, I don't see any reason to have to own this thing on launch day. No. Unless you don't own an Xbox or you oh, still even, have a two generation old one, maybe, you know. Remember the last one. Like it I, at that time you didn't really need that. And nothing ever wowed me between the 360 to the one, you know. Yeah. I didn't see this huge leap like, oh my God, I'm losing my mind. Like everything is about the same. I don't know if that's gonna be will you will we see a marked difference from the current xbox to this next generation who knows but well i think it's like four or ten times faster or something crazy and i have the xbox one original xbox one and then i bought this the x which when whatever that was like a year or two ago mm -hmm. and i did notice a big difference in some of the games like the graphics were definitely better you know and about some the games, load time Fat, way faster on, yeah. on a lot of the games and also the um uh like the sports games look more realistic right they were enhanced but i think this is going to be a stark difference but really if you have an existing xbox right now you can just buy the game digitally and when you get your new one it'll just upgrade to the new version so like it's it's kind of this is i was it seems like really a smooth transition so it's almost like having a pc and then getting a new new pc mm -hmm. right and having your all your old games but now they just look better so you know i'm ready i'll wait i'm sure they're gonna release some more both the uh, ps5 and the xbox it's always just a crapshoot like uh, uh, even when you get the email that someone says hey we have them in stock by the time i read that fucking email that shit's out of stock because mm -hmm. i'm not taking any emails on demand i don't know about you i take them when i want them i just exactly. hit the button i try to live my life that way always man i yes. take it i take them when i want them You're damn right you don't never let buy anybody, surprise or accident <laughs> you don't let anybody force anything on you you never no. want it that only way. when i'm ready yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you want to talk ufc uh this week yeah we had the fight night covington versus woodley right happened saturday yeah uh, how do you want to talk about this from the top down yeah let's up? go top down from the most boring to like, uh, most Colby Covington wins over Tyron Woodley. And I would say that um, freak accident, freak injury on Tyron Woodley's part, but I would say Colby was winning that fight handily. Yeah. Uh, uh, Woodley did not look like himself. And didn't slow. he, did he look smaller to you? To me, I thought yeah. he looked way smaller. I don't know. He's, his body looks different. Smaller, le less muscular, less lean and cut. And, you know, I, apparently he broke a rib, you know, during a, uh, some weird ground exchange kind yeah. of thing. And, you know, Covington in Covington form, uh, screaming and yelling at the camera, going bananas. Um, I, I'll say this right now. Um, uh, Trump called him after the fight and says mm -hmm. that he was proud of him. He says, <laughs> you're a great true. fighter. You make it look so easy. I don't know how you do it. I wanted to watch that fight tonight. You were great. And then he does the post-fight interview with, with a MAGA hat and all kinds of shit. So, yeah, Colin Woodley a race or a terrorist and all sorts yes. of Yes. Yes. Like whatever, man. Just I just don't like his fight style. It's just high output, low I don't know what you want to call it. A low exciting, not very exciting, you know, but yeah. gets the job done. Yes. So I don't know what else to say about that guy and what is this the third loss in a row for Tyron now? He needs his mom there. I think that's the problem. Well, Dana White says he should retire. I, I can't disagree with that. He, he ain't going to retire. He says he's not retiring. The yeah. money's too good. But it just, to me, when I'm looking at him, he just does not have that desire. And he looks so gun shy. And I, I don't know if this is the result of his first loss when he's just so used to being the hammer that he can't handle being the nail, and now he just goes out there and he's too gun-shy to get off. It's like he won't let his hands go. And I don't know what the hell that is. There's like a mental block there. Yeah. Maybe it is his mama. It could be. Could be his mama. Yeah. Give that man his mama. <laughs> yeah. Let her come. Come on, man. Yes. So we had that. Uh, let's talk about this Cowboy versus Nico Price. How about... Uh... Two eye pokes in the first round from Price. Mm -hmm. and, point, point got taken away. Yeah, Herzog took the point. But looking at Cowboy, he is just not flowing how he should be. Like started, I just, started really slow. 
he's very stiff out there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if he's got some kind of, it looks like he's got a mechanical issue. Mm -hmm. Like he's the tin man and someone needs to oil that <laughs> motherfucker up. Man. Yes. You know, it's a grace loop those joints up, but he's just, he seems a step slow. And I don't know if that's age or too many fights. It's not going through the motion, but it's just something's not clicking right for him. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I mean, and the funny thing is, is when I had watched this, um, I had forgotten about the point deduction and I'm like, ah, fuck, Cerrone lost, right? And then we go to the scorecards and they're like, majority draw. I'm like, what? How did that happen? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh yeah, they took a point away in the first round. So he lost that fight, Cerrone. Yeah, I mean, I, po I poke or not, I, I think Nico got, you know, worked him pretty good for three rounds. Uh -huh. Um and why was Nico so happy with the draw? He he celebrated like he won the fight. I don't know. That man hey. has a weird body shape too. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, He's got it's it's who else had that? Like Phil Davis kind of had a weird one. Or uh, uh, George Sotaropoulos. Yeah, from Australia. Yeah, he had a strange like a weird. I mm -hmm. don't know. They're all that same. Yeah, there's it's it's I don't know what it is, but I, I see what you're saying. It's this weird hip thing too. Mm -hmm. Where it's like they're thick at the hip. Thick at the hip. I like my ladies that way, man. That's right. I like my ring card girls. Like <laughs> hey now. Yeah. Hey now. Can we get some of that? And then what about this other cat? This, uh, I don't know how you're going to pronounce this. Kamzat Chimaev. 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 Yeah. Chimaev. Versus Mershart. Whew. That's all I can say about that. Whew. That was ridiculous. That was on the freaking button, man. Well, it looked like the guy who was fighting wanted no part of being in the octagon. Yeah. Just going back. I think Shemayev threw a kick, and then he threw just a finder jab, right hand behind it, right on the button, just crumples him real early, like 16, 17 seconds into the fight. Mm -hmm. And they had posted some weird stat. I don't know if I have it here, where he won, I think he's the – three fights in 66 days he's got oh, wow. three wins in 66 days and i forgot who else is on that list but gotta imagine cowboys on there and handful of other guys but i'm like what the fuck three fucking wins three dominant wins in 66 days it's kind of crazy it is and that guy is talking all sorts of mad shit. He's reminding me of the Brandon Vera talking about he wants to hold two <laughs> fucking belts in two different weight classes yeah. and all this kind of shit. But I don't know who you put that guy up against next. Some people were trying to do Damian Maya dirty and say, maybe he should fight Damian Maya. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, let's I don't want to do, do, do that. Let's not do that to Damian. Damian's got like a fight left. Let's not yeah. fuck him. But that would be par for the course for the UFC, just to cement at home. Yeah. Send the old guys packing. Well, he's got a name. Let's build this young guy. Mm -hmm. They should not do him like that. No. Top 10 for life, Damian Maya. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's ever dropped out. He's probably still in the top 10 if I looked it up right now. Oh. And that's not to say 170 is weak. That's just to say Damian Maya is pretty fucking good over a long period of time. Solid. Anderson Silva, where are you at? In a different weight class. It's all good. What about Mackenzie Dern and Ronda Marcos? Yeah. You like that ground game? Solid. Why does Marcos jump into Mackenzie Dern's guard? I don't understand this game planning. Hmm. Maybe she wanted a taste. A taste of an arm bar? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she looked really slick on the ground, but I don't think that surprises anybody except for Rhonda Marcos. <laughs> <laughs> they obviously missed that in the game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what is this girl good at? The Stand up. We tie? We should take <laughs> it to the ground. <laughs> She's Bangkok ready? What the yes. fuck, man? Yes. yes. So good for her. Mackenzie Darn looking good in her win. And then how about the Johnny Walker fight? Johnny Walker versus Ryan Spann. Walker gets dropped early, gets rocked again, and then you get some brutal hammer fist and elbow while Spann's trying for the takedown. Yeah. And I think I like this Walker character because he's like a yeah. killer be killed kind of guy. Some, some shit's going to happen when that guy's fighting, good or bad okay. for him. I don't know. Yeah. But those are the kind of guys I can appreciate. No. Right. I don't know if he will ever be a title holder. Hard to say. But 
God damn, he's fun to watch. He's young still, though. So, you know, yeah. isn't he like 21 or something or 20? Well, yeah. he's young enough to hurt himself celebrating when he wins a fight. So, yeah. Got to be young 20s for sure. Mm hmm. Fucking UFC. That was, uh, that's a pretty fucking good card. Uh, good free card, yeah. First round, first round, first round. Uh, decision, decision, but. I can't argue with that whole card. Let me talk about next. The UFC 253 is coming up. The UFC is going to Fight Island for the next five weeks. Mm -hmm. Dana White posted, uh, I think it was on his Instagram, of what his hotel room looks like in Abu Dhabi. It's just fucking ridiculous because what they did is they tried to replicate what his weight room looked like. So they have a picture of Arnold with a quote on the wall, a picture of Bruce Lee with a quote on the wall, all sorts of exercise equipment. They have a menu for him, and I forgot exactly how they worded it, but here's your non-bullshit items here. Here's the fucking good shit on this side of the menu, and it says whatever, like swears. And But they took cues from what he ordered last time I like and made him a custom menu. They built him a little candy shop. And hopefully we could find a picture somewhere. I don't fucking remember to put it in where it's just Dana White and like a hat and with like all the candies around him and shit. Like, what the fuck are we doing? And then they just show his suite and just just fucking off the chart. Like it's you need something levels. like this. I feel like you need this. What's that? Uh, something exactly like that. I can't. Uh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Give Matt the candy show. I don't know if I need that. I don't need that. Fucking medicine and candy is a bad combination. Yes. How does Dana stay so ripped? With all that candy a cocktail of fucking peds H he's like making like cheetos mac and cheese or something did you see that yeah he eats like a fucking pig i'm sure he trains hard too but i know he's on a cocktail of the good shit okay you know yeah so hey whatever i gotta fault the guy for having money and doing Man. whatever he wants so and then we have the the two big fights this weekend the two title fights Paulo Costa versus Israel Adesanya. Uh, I was gonna say is, uh. <laughs> I, like, I, I, I like Costa in this fight. I really do. It's a hard fight, man. I, I think it's. I think it's. I think he's dangerous and on the dance floor. Yeah, I. I don't Sweet. know. I. I, I just, you know, I don't know what kind of fight we're going to have. That's the question. Is Hard is, to you know, say. You don't want, like, the Yoel Romero fight where they just had a fucking stare down dance off. Like a real well, boring non-engagement. Yeah. Well, it's interesting you bring that up because everyone who goes through Yoel Romero t typically has, has a horrible performance or two after at least, or sometimes a career because he's yeah. like, takes it out of people. But I feel like Costa didn't really experience that so much with Yoel Romero. Yeah. Uh, too. Sorry, I, I just yeah. So they both well, they both fought him. Uh, Costa took a lot of damage too in that fight against yes. him. But I know what you're saying. You talk about Adesanya because yes, he didn't sorry. take any damage, right? No, there was there was, yeah. I didn't. I should have prefaced that. Yes. So it's like the question mark is I don't know who took who's gonna fare better, but I just mm -hmm. like Costa's chances. I don't know. He's he's a I, big fucking guy. I thought yeah. they said he was like two oh five today. He's still got another fucking 20 pounds to cut. Jesus. Okay. Uh, it's uh, Tuesday. He's got like 20 more pounds by In fucking Friday. Yeah. It's a lot of, he's a big dude and he throws bombs. Mm -hmm. I just worry about his endurance. I don't remember what time they're fighting out there. I always feel it's a weird time, like right? Like 2 a.m. or something, isn't it? It's got to be in the morning for them, but it's yeah. nighttime for us. So. We'll see. I, I like Adesanya. I don't know if he can finish Costa. I want to say he will, but it's it's a tough fight. I'm I'm like 70-30 for Adesanya because Costa's got a shit ton of power, man. And he, mm -hmm. he will come forward and try to fuck you up. So good on him. Should make for an exciting fight. And you have Dominic Reyes and who is it? Jan Blagovic for the vacant light heavyweight tile, right? If I remember correctly, I'm just throwing names out. Sounds correct. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> UFC 253. Uh, yeah. Yes. Hey, did, did you uh, see this uh, new poster for Holly Holm versus Aldana? Check it out. 
What's with Holly Holmes' eyeballs? I saw this earlier today. I don't know. I feel like something's wrong with this. I don't know what happened here, but something is off. Like with with the with the looks, I'm I'm not really sure. But the eyeballs don't look. They look painted on. Do you see that? Yeah. So I've been watching a lot of cooking shows. That looks like the isomalt sugar eyeballs. <laughs> what? <laughs> cooking shows? Where they take sugar and they make eyeballs out of it, and then they put it into whatever person or creature they're making. I like to watch the Halloween Wars and whatever network. Netflix. Uh, probably some cooking channel. Okay. You're quite the, that's what the uh, fucking eyeballs look thespian, like. Matt. You're uh, renaissance man over there. Prefer to be the lesbian in this relationship. <laughs> okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> but yeah, so that one's coming up too, huh? It is. And then I don't know what this next thing is. I always put a link up and never know what it's going to say. So let's see what happens. Oh, Adam Schefter said the – this is switching sports a little bit. The NFL fined three head coaches. This is as of September 21st. Denver's Vic Fangio or whatever. Seattle's Pete Carroll and San Francisco's Kyle Shanahan. $100,000 each for not wearing masks Sunday. And each of their teams, another $250,000. So that's $1.05 million in fines for not wearing masks. So here's my question. He was wearing a mask. I watched that game. He had Pete Carroll had a mask on for some of it. <laughs> oh, not you have to wear it the whole time. Yes, that's what they're requiring. But uh, uh, I want to know if they test everyone on Saturday and everyone's negative, and then they test everyone on Sunday and everyone's negative, and they do a temperature test. Why the fuck does anybody wear need to wear a mask? Because guess what? The players aren't wearing masks. Why are the head coaches wearing masks? Is it just theater? I think it's theater. It's like the TSA, Matt. It's the illusion of safety. <sighs> it's so frustrating, right? Do you see Dana White wearing a mask? I mean, you see the cornermen sometimes, yeah. but Dana's not, not wearing a fucking mask ever. No. Ever, if I, it's it's almost like you're in a bubble, right? If everyone's tested, everyone's clean, no one wears a condom, no one gets pregnant, right? Or something. I don't know. Uh, something I don't know about that last part. <laughs> if you have a vasectomy. Uh, okay. Or if you go anal. Okay. I, I'll buy that. <laughs> okay. This is a good portion of the show to say this kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Not you got to save first, it. <laughs> not in the first five minutes. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to edit that somehow. Or <laughs> it's going to just be a constant beep. Okay. Perfect. Get a fucking train running by. So you get the Doppler effect or whatever that was called. Wah, 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 wah. Any other canoes? I have nothing. It's kind of a light news week. Yeah, I'm just going to say, I'm not feeling 100%. That's why this show is going to be a little bit shorter than normal. I'm sorry. I hope it's not the COVID. Hey, I want to say one thing since you brought up the NFL. Sure. So I, I haven't watched football in years, right? And I typically don't get too into it. I used to. But this weekend, I watched a couple games. Like I watched the Bears and mm-hmm. I watched Mon- a Sunday night and I watched mm-hmm. Monday night. Yeah. I got to say, like, it's kind of nice to have football on. It makes me feel almost normal, you know? How do you feel about the crowd sound, the crowd noise? I prefer not to have it in there. It's yeah. weird. It's super but I, I agree with you. It's fun to watch. And I'm not like a huge football fan, but yeah. I'm, it's starting to grow on me. And I think, it, again, it goes back to the announcers because I'll tell you what. That Tony Romo character, he's the best announcer in the game. You think I, so? He's on CBS, yeah. Because he fucking knows what's happening before it's happening. And he explains it 100%. Where some of these other guys are saying, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. I don't watch this sport 100% of the time. So some of the shit you're talking about, you got to talk to me like I'm retarded. Because I am retarded. <laughs> I don't know everything about football. Yeah. Like fighting, every time you watch a UFC, they – pretty well explain it like you've never watched it before yeah so some of these other sports you need to explain it like i've never watched it before yeah well chris collinsworth and al michaels do a good job too but tony yeah. romo i think is definitely the best i think he's getting paid big money too yeah he won't leave cbs because i think they brought him in i want to say he was on the real sports with brian gumbel and i want to say they interviewed him and he said my allegiance is to cbs because they gave me a shot when no one else would uh-huh because he could easily leave and be, make more money. Because some of these other crews just suck dick. 
Yep. And again, sucking dick isn't bad. It's just a term, so don't cry. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. Yes. Let's do some ass nuts. Hot Regal Machado will close it out. <laughs> <laughs> We're going hard and fast. I I feel like I'm ill. I don't know. Seriously? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Okay. I think it's because it's hot in the basement. I've got three computers or something in here and no air conditioning on. It's Maybe actually it's hot. Ra- radiation from all the p- PCs. Could be. Or my balls. <sighs> all right. It's time. Pound sign, nuts roll. Pound sign, Matt Rape Train. Pound sign, Ingo Sugar Daddy. Yes. Today, I want to ask you guys, would you rather questions? Number one, would you rather watch only dramas for the rest of your life or watch only comedies for the rest of your life? Ugh. Um, I go with drama. I don't even know what drama is. I'm going to say comedies. Okay. And I will give no reason. I like to laugh, but don't watch David Spade movies. Would you rather always be sweating or always appear shivering cold? Oh, geez. That's a tough one. I'm just going to sweat, I think. I think sweating's okay. Right. Sweating's good for you. I like to sweat. Would you rather be a rock star or be a movie star? Rock star. Why? Well, I play the guitar and sing, and I've always wanted to be a rock star, so that would be like a dream come true. Damn not right. for not for the fame, but just you know, tour the world, see shit, yeah. make, make people happy. And you don't have to be a crazy person sitting on set for like eighteen hour days, eighteen hour shifts, just waiting around a whole bunch. You want to be the star of the party. You're doing what? Two hour show, maybe two and a half. If you're feeling frisky, you could do in drugs. You could do not do drugs. You could have groupies or not have groupies. Mm-hmm. It's just a, a rolling party that you want to be a part of. Yes. I've seen the I've seen the movies. I've seen the shows. Mm-hmm. I've seen the Motley Crews. It looks like fun. Just they should have a, a boat <laughs> thing. The Motley Crews <laughs> is so stupid. <laughs> Moving right along. I don't even think you can get on a cruise right now, can you? Are those open? I think you can. Okay. I wouldn't advise that. (laughs) (laughs) Would you rather see how or what created civilization or see how or what ends civilization? The end. This is the end. Like the doors. My only friend. Who's speaking of music? The end. They are one of the few bands who did not have a bassist. Pontificate that. I will. Well, who's playing the bass then? The keyboard? The keyboard player. Giving you the, the deep with the weirdness. Yeah. I can't even remember it, but yeah. That's cool. Uh, yeah. I don't want to see what created it. Yeah, probably the end. I'll probably go with that. Because then you could probably see some really neat shit down the road. Unless everything ends at 2021. <laughs> it it <might>. depends. <laughs> Wait, I would like to know too, so I can know when I should pillage and fucking do all the drugs. So. <laughs> how long? So when you know the end date, how long before do you start raping and pillaging? I'm going to rape uh, the horses I'm and to ride rape. off on the women. Uh, the raping part, I'm probably not going to be doing, but only if it's a horse. Yeah, uh, or I'm a thinking, fern. I'm thinking six months to a year is good enough. Okay. It gives me enough time. Sure. Let's do a little fuck Mary Kill celebrity edition number 108. Mm-hmm. Female wrestlers number 23. So the choices are going to be Bailey and Nikki Bella and Tony Storm. I'm out. Is... I'm Bailey. Nope. Bailey dead. is so dead. What's with that face? No good. Good lord. Goodbye. And Nikki Bella? That's a, that's a major improvement. Yep. I will reserve. And Tony uh, Storm. Yeah, we're going to have to marry the last one. That's okay. pretty much guaranteed. Fair enough. So Thanks. then you're fucking this one. So we're, we're kind of, I'm going to strike that and reverse it. I'll kill the first one. I will marry the second one. And I will fuck the third one. Just Good for fun. Good lord. You know, done. Uh, Canalage. Hmm. Canalage, you have I'm trying to think. Well, I kind of shared it earlier about football, so thank God that's back. But 
That's about all I got. Hmm. Football, video games, movies. The weather is starting to change, finally. We're in our last week of 80 degrees here in the Chicagoland areas. It's going to get cold. Of Illinois. And uh, I think I'm ready for fucking winters. Winter is coming, Ingo. And it may come by Halloween again. We had that blizzard. Too early. A little bit because the weather determines how many trick-or-treaters you'll have. Or the CDC will determine how many trick-or-treaters you have this year. (laughs) I don't even know if they're going to do a trick-or-treating, which would be blasphemy to not do anything. They're going to do it. Uh, Well, I think it's probably going to go to a town-by-town basis, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't even mind fucking putting a table out and sitting in my driveway and putting candy on the table and just supervising. Take this, take that, hand it, don't hand it. I don't care. You got to have fucking trick-or-treating because I've read some shit like they were talking about some reverse trick-or-treating. Like kids would dress up and stand in their lawn or driveway and parents would go around and hand out candies. Like in a car? I don't know, but isn't it the same difference? <laughs> it's just in reverse. Like you're not saving anybody. Just let the kids trick or treat. Everyone wear a mask. Uh, or the this is the craziest year. Or I'll, I'll go out with a candy gun and just fire it at random houses. I feel like we need to drive your truck and have the back open and someone's hanging out the back with a bazooka. And just yeah, just fucking randomly firing a shit. Like Only you're candy corn. That's all we're sending. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> and those fucking like peanut old lady candies or those orange ones that are wrapped in like wax paper. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Ew. Fucking nasty shit. Yeah. It's like grandma candy. Yeah. There disgusting. was one lady that used to dress up like a wicked witch. And then you had to go into her house and she had a cauldron, big ass cauldron. And she'd pretend like she was stirring it. She had goddamn popcorn balls in there that she made herself. I'm like, you know, I was, <laughs> my mom was like, yeah, you shouldn't eat that. But I'm like, mom, my friends are eating the fucking popcorn balls. So I'd fucking eat the popcorn ball uh-huh. before I got home. Did she take you in the back and talk to you? <laughs> no, but it, that's kind of weird, right? To have a lady dressed Super up weird. as she was old though. She that's like a grandma. She was in her eighties, pretending she was a witch. She might have like, come here, you little sunnies, let me spank you. Yeah. You're so you're bad. <laughs> like whatever. Why are you trying to put a broomstick up my ass? That ain't right. <laughs> kind of feels good, like a bidet. But anyway, you riding that? I tried. <laughs> yes. That's it. Shut down. 15 right. minute show. I'm sorry. I'm uh, not right. feeling quite 100% right I now. I think we're so. good. We're at like 30 minutes. I think we're all right. That has been this week's edition of I My mean, Nuts. My name is Ingo Waggle. Matt Ruth, thanks for playing.